Click, Drink and Click Show. I'm very excited today because we have a lot of people from the other side of the Pacific, and we have two Canadians. Uh, one, the beautiful Sarah, and we got Jordan over there too. And I'm joined. And I'm joined. Uh, yeah, I can't call you beautiful. The beautiful and, Jordan too. Okay. <laughs> okay. And we are joined by uh, my co-host uh, Lotus Carroll. Hello. Um, Lotus, if you want to introduce the panel. I do. Guys, when I call on you, uh, use that time to tell everybody what your name is, where you live, uh, what you do, where you can be found online, and you can plug anything that you have going on. And we will start with Anna Andres. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Anna, and I live in Sydney at the moment. I run the Sydney Drinking Click chapter, but I'm originally from Spain. And you can find me on Google Plus with Anna Andres. Uh, I came here to Australia to do a PhD for three years, and then we'll see how it goes. What are you getting a PhD in? Physics. Physics. Oh God. Brainy girl. Okay. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, so do you um, support yourself with photography? Pay your uh, school bills that way? Yeah. No. Well. I support myself for with the scholarship I got for doing PhD and photography is my hobby. Sweet. Well thanks for being on tonight. No worries. <clears throat> Moving along, we have Holger for Rudy. Hey everyone. <clears throat> my name is Holger. Uh, I'm in Tokyo right now. Uh, it's very similar for me like with Anna. I'm actually I'm just doing photography part time, half of the time. Also a, a researcher. I'm doing blowfish. Poison research. <laughs> that sounds That's dangerous. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> you say dangerous, I say cool. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I like to shoot photos. I, I just get a bit of money from it. I'm not a full professional. I'm shooting more and more portraits right now, actually. And also, part time, I work for the Magnum Photos uh, Tokyo office. And you are our esteemed leader of the Tokyo chapter of Drinking Club. And Clay. I. Lead my samurai in Tokyo. <laughs> you guys are killing it there on a regular basis. We love your chapter. Oh yeah, it's awesome and just yeah, everyone is great in this chapter. I love them. It's like this really nice community we have. It's fun. It's fun. Well, thanks for being on tonight. Thank you. Next up, we've got Joel Horwath. Hey everyone. Yeah, I'm Joel Horwath. Uh, originally started shooting about five years ago when I lived in New York, but now I'm back in Texas. More specifically, Austin here with Juan and Lotus. Uh, started attending Drinking Clicks, uh, what was it, about a little over a year ago, uh, shortly after I think you started it all, Juan. And uh, they haven't been able to get rid of me since. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't tried hard enough, huh? <laughs> you can find me on Google Plus. Uh, also, as you can see on the screen, uh, I was the uh, lucky winner of last month's Drinking Click Challenge. So I got my fancy new Smug Mug site that I'm firing up. Uh, so I'll have all my photos being posted there. Yay, we like Smug Mug. Well, sweet. Thank you for being on tonight, Joel. It's Thanks. always good seeing you. Up next, we have the lovable ginger beard, Jordan Oram. Greetings. Thank you. Hello, uh, salutations. My name is Jordan Oram, and I am, uh, I'm not really from anywhere, like I don't live anywhere, I live, I have a backpack, so it's best said that I am of the coastal rainforest of British Columbia. I'm from the, I've lived on the islands and coasts north of Vancouver, it's where my family's from, where I'm from, and last year I made a trip across Canada and back, taking pictures and sharing stories and adventures, and... Uh, I'm on most things like YouTube and Twitter, and you can find me by searching Maple Musketeer. So it says my, my, my website as well, maplemusketeer.com. So if you search that, you'll find me in most places. And I like to travel around encouraging awesomeness. So uh, I guess some people make a lot of money, or no, wait, let me rephrase that. Some people make some money and income off of photography. I don't really make very much money, but I also don't have very many expenses. So that allows me to sort of couch surf and uh, visit friends 
And I, I like sharing of my skills and abilities and encouraging people to discover their, sh their skills and abilities. And uh, to that end, I'm going to be going for an airplane ride, which I haven't done in a couple of years, uh, on Sunday to Smithers in northern British Columbia to uh, partner with a photographer there and do a bunch of photo adventures in the forest and the waterfalls and whatnot. And we're also going to teach some photography workshops, apparently. And uh, yeah, basically, <laughs> I'm just going to go do what I do, which is help people with whatever I can do. So, yeah, that's I have to say, Jordan. To. I think that since Google Plus started, I have met so many interesting people, and I'd have to say that if someone asked me who's like the most positive and uplifting and jovial person I've met, it would totally be you. Yep. Well, thank you. Everything is an adventure <laughs> and promoting awesomeness, and you just have such a great vibe. I always love hanging out with you. So. Now I'm turning more red. <laughs> you for being on tonight. And thank you for that. On our show tonight. Thank. It's always a pleasure whenever you have me. <laughs> oh yes, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> he knew I was going to do that. Okay, that leaves us with Sarah Colleton. Hi, I'm the uh, co-host for the Toronto Drinking Click group. Um, I'm a photographer based out of Toronto that has done pretty much everything kind of documentary based from concerts and weddings to movies and music videos. Um, and uh, I do some social media work for photography companies. So I worked with 500 Pixels and a camera store up here called Henry's. And I'm currently working for Format, which is the portfolio service that I, I use for my website. And two months ago, I was the winner for the black and white uh, theme challenge. You. Awesome. We had a lot of winners on tonight. <laughs> I got my uh, Gary Fong, with, like the full package. I've had like a basic Gary Fong before, but this was everything with like the white balance cards and the like the chrome reflector. Are you enjoying that? I love it. I don't shoot with my flash with unless I have like the Gary Fong attached to it. <laughs> That's good to hear. I can recommend this uh, this think tag bag that I won for getting first place <laughs> for the straight oh, the camera yeah. in January. I promise <laughs> that we didn't go. Um, who has won in the past? We should invite them on the show. But it's just a sign that like so many of the people that are involved in Drink and Click, both the chapter leaders and the attendees are just really into it and they're taking great photos and having a great time at the same time. So we're glad to have you guys all on tonight. Thank you. Very exciting. So um, I guess for the people that are watching, I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about it, what Drink and Click is. Mm -hmm. And Drink and Click started here in Austin, Texas. Um, I started it. Um, I started just going out by myself and when Google Plus came up, I started uh, inviting people to uh, drink and click, which is pretty much going to a bar and just taking a few pictures walking between bars and apparently nobody got my message in the beginning. Uh, five shows of five events nobody showed and then after that a lot of people started showing and Joel was one of the first people to show here in Austin. I had to get there as quick as I could. You, know. <laughs> you feel bad for you. <laughs> and then, the sympathy thing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And then from there it grew, and then it started going with San Francisco, and then LA, and then started from the West Coast, spreading out. So I was very excited when uh, when we got uh, Tokyo and Sydney, and of course Canada, and just because we're we're spreading, you know, away from our borders, and you know, it was getting to be a worldwide event. So it, Drink and Click is uh, an event that some chapters do it uh, twice a month, like Austin, Texas. Uh, and some people do it once a month. Um, and they get together at different bars or different locations or different events that they're having at their city. And they're pretty much socialized and show their gear and talk about what they have and how to use it or what's a new gadget, new toy they got. And it's a lot of uh, getting to know somebody and getting to know what they'd like to do, what kind of uh, business they're in, and kind of like growing as a family, just uh, helping each other, networking, and just seeing each other every month, and then just trying to go for the challenge, whatever the challenge is that month. So I think I one think of the really cool things has been, so um, with this idea, you were saying it's kind of like it becomes a family 
And it's been really neat to see people over time who just kind of started coming out to the walks and then they started opening up and making friends and connections and now they're like really good friends of yours and they're very active. I've yeah. really enjoyed watching that happen over time here with us locally. It is funny because you have your you have your friends, you know, your close friends that you have before all of this happens and then you have the drinking click and you join your drinking click in your city and you grow another circle of friends and because they like what you do and they enjoy photography the same as you do, they become your new bigger circle of friends. So even yeah. if you if you don't have a drinking click event, you can just send a message and say, I'm going out shooting and it could be ten o'clock at night and two yeah. people say, I meet you. Where are Absolutely. you going? Absolutely. Yeah. So so it's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have the same experience in your city, but it's you start to knowing this large circle of people and you can go shoot at any time of night and somebody will join you. So yeah, photographers are crazy. No, they're wonderful. And uh, I had other photographers from back in the day from uh, Flickr that I'd met, and they'd text me at any time at night, and we'd go and shoot. And then when I moved to new towns or move away, I don't have those connections anymore to, to build up. And uh, through Drink and Click, I think you, you can meet so many people who share similar passions or are into doing different things. Yeah. Have you joined different Drink and Clicks as you've been traveling? <laughs> Um, I haven't recently, but I, I, I want to. But when I was traveling last year, there weren't that many in Canada <laughs> at the time I was traveling. <laughs> so, we're but growing. I intend to. Yes, we're absolutely. To grow. Yeah, we were. Uh, we're planning actually to go to San Antonio sometime uh, in the next few, next few months. We'll see if we can join him for the San Antonio chapter. And yeah. I be, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, we've been to the San Francisco Force when it got launched, and yeah. we and we've been to I've been to the one in New York when it was launched. Uh, but I would love to, you know, go to every city we have chapters in and just. No, you get just to have to come people, to Australia. So. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just, just come by, Juan. <laughs> we, might be, <laughs> we might be up Canada way at some point, huh? Yeah, yeah, I think Canada, is. Canada is going to happen probably this fall. We'll see how we can wait, work wait, it out. Wait, east or west? Well, start east, and then we'll just get a whole bunch of a traveling drinking click road team. And we'll start east, and we'll go west. Then we'll go across the Pacific. Uh, I mean, this is brilliant. There we go. I know, I know. We, just need, a <laughs> we, just, awesome. we just need a huge sponsor. <laughs> Make a world well, tour. I'm excited because I'm going to head to New York in two weeks for the... Uh, two-year anniversary Google Plus photo walk. Oh, good Instead stuff. of doing the Toronto one here, I'm going to go out to one of my favorite cities. And then, I know I've talked to Lotus about it, but I have, I possibly have a shoot at the end of the year that takes me to Texas, so I'd love to be there for one of your guys' drinking clicks. Awesome. Yeah, well, and if it if your trip down here falls at, you know, a time when we're not having a drinking click, because we do them really regularly every two weeks, we'll just do a off week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> impromptu oh, drink and click with you. I will keep you guys posted. I know, yeah. and in New York it's going to be fun because I think the drink, drink and click group is going to join that two-year uh, photo walk. And uh, I think Alan Shapiro is leading uh, yeah. that, that photo walk. With, and Michael yeah, Alan's, Alan's yeah. doing it with Michael Bonacore. I just found yeah. out too, like, um, Kelly is going to be there. Kelly. Um, yeah. Kelly? Kelly Seeger, Kim, and yep. Carrie Murphy, yep. and Brian Matias oh, wow. is going to be there as well. So I'm so happy that after like two years of hanging out and talking and sharing photos with these people, I actually get to meet them in person. I know. I'm Isn't that the best? Getting to actually meet in person with the people that you've connected with so well online is really a great experience. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I need to escape. What day is that? The 29th, 30th? The 20, it's a Saturday, so I think it's the 29th. I fly in on the Friday morning, and then I'm, I'm going to take off on the Monday. So mm -hmm. I'm going to spend like a whole weekend shooting. I know Vivian is going to be there. Um, yes. So I'm going to go shooting with her, hopefully, a couple times outside of the photo walk. Um, and so also, um, Deshaun Craddock should be there, and he is a really awesome person to hang out with and shoot with, yeah. too. Yep. Yeah, he knows New York I'm, very well, I'm really so. looking forward to it. I kind of like, I just, I'm in like a creative rut, so I feel like I have to get out of the city to, <laughs> to change that. You're going to have a great time. What a great place to go. I love New York. 
Uh, so, so Holger, you get to you get to have uh, Trey Radcliffe and Tom Anderson over there in Tokyo. Oh yeah, yeah, like what, like a month ago or something? Yeah. Yeah. How crazy yeah, was yeah. that? Oh, it was pretty cool. Like Trey made his talk in the the Google headquarters here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, just hanging out after that at Google and well, Tom Anderson, of course. I mean, it was really you nice. Invited them, you invited them. them to come on the Drink and Click, right? Ah, uh, they didn't join. <laughs> Dude, and you know what's funny I mean, they is were that pretty busy. Yeah. what was funny is that right around that time, I actually ended up being on Trey's show for some reason, and he he got on very briefly because he was there and he wasn't able to. He had somebody else doing the show for him, oh, and he seriously? said, "Um, so I didn't realize, Lotus, that this drink and click thing that you guys do." <laughs> It's like all around the world. I got invited to one here. Yeah, <laughs> and I was true. like, yeah, yeah, yeah you I, should I, go. I, I, <laughs> so I told was, him, I was like, oh, Trey, you're our sponsor now. Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Come along. I was a bit confused, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so, nice, yeah, actually. I think he'll have his people talk to our people. <laughs> there is uh, today, actually. Pretty close to this time. Well, I don't know what time is in China and Beijing. The Beijing chapter is launching their first event, so they're having a few limitations because Google is blocked in Beijing and in China. So, oh, I didn't realize that. <laughs> that that does seem yeah. to be a bit of an issue. <laughs> I was just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So so we it's it's pretty cool because he was able to get the event going up, and he said there's a lot of people that are going to join it, but they can't go to Google to reply that they're going. And they want to participate on the challenge, but they don't know how. They don't know how to submit the pictures. And I told them, I say, whatever way they can find it, if they can do it through Facebook, which I doubt it, or they can just send me an email to drinkandclick.com, uh, mm -hmm. drinkandclick at gmail.com, and they just say, I'm from Beijing. Here's my picture, and submit it to the event. Then I submit it for them. So it, there's a work around it, you know. And it's just nice to see the people in China are actually willing to join and. In getting to the events and the challenges, so. Wow, I didn't realize that wow. it was banned there. Oh yeah. Are you able to access the Drink and Click website? Uh, I think you are. Okay. Uh, I need to. I need to ask him that. I guess they can. They can either go through there and just contact us or submit the picture through there. Because all the information is there as well. You you make sure you share all the uh, events there as well. Is that that right? Yeah. 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 Maybe we can yeah. set up some way for them to be able to actually um, submit their photos on the site. Well, maybe we can do a Dropbox or something like that, yeah. or a Google Drive or something that they can just submit the pictures there. Well, Google Drive, I'm probably blocked, but who knows? Well, so um, as we've been doing drink and clicks, we've gotten to know, we were talking about we've gotten to know people in our local area. You know, we've got regulars, people that come out um, often and are really getting into it and what we'd like to do tonight is um, have you guys share the page and some of the photos of one of the people that you have gotten to know as a regular at your local drink and click. Who wants to start? Anna. Okay, one second, I had it here. Can you find it? Do you need a minute? Is anybody else ready with their person already? I can go. Go for it. Um, the person I want to like uh, give a shout out to and showcase is uh, this guy named Jason Cook, who is this incredible photographer I've had a chance to meet in, um, I guess, the last year. He's come out to a lot of a uh, lot of the photo walks. He did some other photo walks that I participated with outside of Drinking Click. Um, he just came back from a trip to Europe. He celebrated his birthday going to like Paris and London and Rome. And he's doing now a challenge for the year of posting and sharing one shot a day. Um, and I will share the link now with you guys. I was going to say. Can you screen share his page? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Let me set that up. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, do that. Okay. Do we have like a Jeopardy theme song um, sound? So I can make sure I've got it. I'm comfortable. I've got it now. I think Something there are sound isn't effects. Copyrighted. Right there. there are. Yeah. We have really great sound effects. When the last show, Michael had like become like adept at just like hitting the right sound effect. 
So he's since he's been back, he got back I think uh, last weekend, and so he's been posting some photos around Toronto still. But he has some incredible shots from his recent trip. Here's one of them. I don't know if everyone can see that. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, that's really oh, nice. nice. Look at that, like hazy kind of sky. It's so it pretty. looks like a painting in a very complimentary way. <laughs> in a very complimentary way. That's Absolutely. Beautiful. How did he get so high? <laughs> um, the 56th floor of an observation terrace. <laughs> and I know he had to wait there for a couple of hours in the cold to get that shot. But I think it was worth it. Uh, I'm just going to find something else right now. Here's another one of his from his trip. Oh, nice. Oh, that is nice. Ooh. Speaking of leading lines. Oh, I know. <laughs> and he was, actually, he was actually the first winner for the Toronto Drinking Click. I know, I can't remember which event it was now, but he won third place uh, for one of the challenges, and he was, oh, he was the first winner out of Toronto for nice. our group. That's yeah, very nice. nice work. Totally. We need to get a chapter yeah, going on in Paris. Yes. I know. You know I, like, I started getting into street photography as soon as I moved into the city, and I haven't done it for a while, so his daily challenge to himself was kind of brought back as like inspiration for me to kind of get out more and shoot, especially now that I'm working downtown again. Isn't it nice how when you stay connected with other photographers, they can totally like play that role for you as, you know, rejuvenating your own creative drive on a regular basis kind of thing. I feel like... Well, that, I mean, that's... I think that's the favorite... That's my favorite part of the photo walks is when I started shooting, you know, professionally or pretending to be professional, I was shooting concerts. <laughs> and so the only other photographers I hung out with were photographers I shot concerts with. And that was it. Um, and coming into the... Coming into these photo walks, you find these people who have you know, their passion and hobbies go from landscapes to street photography to portraits to everything. And so everyone has a different and unique way of kind of looking at the city or whatever that challenge is. And it kind of brings back this, like, creativity that I feel kind of disappears every once in a while with me. That is, that is really true because, you know, I, I was not interested in oh, architecture photography at all. And now, you know, once you start meeting people that are interested into that and then you start seeing what they're shooting, then you start aiming for something, you know, similar or just asking him what the techniques are. So you start expanding just from, for me, just portraits, and then I start expanding from there and then doing something different. So, Yeah, I found the same thing. I, and I think basically what we're saying here is that, like, your photographic eye actually grows from interacting with other people, right? You see more and more of the world, things that you wouldn't necessarily have looked at to shoot before. For me, at least, that's what happened. Oh, no, I think totally. the first time that happened for me is Thomas Hawk came up to Toronto maybe like three or four years ago, and I did like a weekend photo walk with him. Who's that? And that, <laughs> that guy in the best possible way is exhausting <laughs> to shoot with. <laughs> because he'll just do one item like a hundred different ways and he, because we aren't moving anywhere he forces me or forces everyone around him to look at something differently because he hasn't moved yet um, and so when you get into these walks with you know groups of ten or more people that just happens naturally too and I find between feeling inspired by the people I'm around and and what they shoot um, there's that and the other side of it is just like a full-on geek talk of the gear and lenses you use. And you <laughs> Hanging out with people who get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, um, Anna, are you ready to share yes. um, your person? Yeah. Sweet. Let's go for you. I have a, I have a Jason as well. Okay. Okay. Start screen share. Can you see my screen now? Yes. yes. Yes, and I love the like start screen share now. It was like engaged. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Make so it so. this Jason Ruth is a, a Sydney photographer. 
and he came to the last drinking clique and we've been on many photo walks together and here is one of the photos he took at the drinking clique we did this at the vivid festival which is festival in Sydney where they have a lot of light installations and projections on the opera house and the bridge and it's so amazing however when we did the drinking clique it was very stressful because there was a lot of people around and I kept losing everyone but somehow we managed to all end up in the same bar together by some miracle or something <laughs> everyone makes it back to the bar that is <laughs> okay. you is nowhere to meet up if you get lost the photos he took and also from the Vivid Festival, but not from that day, um, Jason took this photo. This was oh, a, nice. um, a water fountain light show with like fountains with colors and lasers and projections on the water and fireworks, which was really hard to photograph because you're like, oh, you want long exposure for the fireworks, but then the water is blurry and there's smoke and the mist is blowing in your camera and all that. But I think he did a really good job. Yeah, it's beautiful. That is beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, and we shot this from on top of the bridge, one bridge somewhere. And also, another thing he likes doing is light painting, and we're going to do this this weekend. Um, steel wool spinning, so there's some Ooh. examples here. Oh, we are fans of that, yes. yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be doing some of that this weekend. Oh, nice. That was cool. I'm do it, so I'm really excited about it. And he has this one. Oh, I like that one. Can you? It, lo can you it looks like a little alien this robot one? from the future that's on fire. No, it looked almost. Uh, yeah, it looked like a little. Oh, that's yeah. what it was. It was the from the door frame. It it yeah. almost becomes like a three D thing in that next one though. Mm -hmm. Go to that one again. Like this it's one. <laughs> like it stands out on its own. You know what I mean? Yeah. The next one. Amazing. The other what? one. The other yeah. one. <laughs> and then that sometimes. One. He and like other people that like painting, lights painting around here, they also sometimes combine uh, like still wool spinning with other color, other colored lights. Like for example, if you you've got good tab management open up there. That's <laughs> <laughs> I know. He's rocking it. <laughs> That's awesome. I think oh you can't see this one. Damn. I don't know where the photo is. But anyway, sometimes they, they also um, also have, I think maybe here, like this is, they, they do instead of, instead of still wood spinning, oh, like any lights or any wires and move them around, and sometimes they do both of them together. Oh, yeah, that's fun. I, uh, yeah. I, did, I had something like um, a photo where I did that with Jordana. Uh, right on the beach, but we spelled yeah. a word. I don't know if I should share my photo. Yeah. So we're going up to <laughs> the post. I'm going to do some of that stuff this weekend and see how that goes. Yeah, by, uh, the, by, the, way, by the way, for the people watching, we're probably going to get all the names of the people we're sharing here tonight on the uh, event. So if you want to circle those people. Yeah, I'm making event, a note. Circle them. Awesome. And when we do our wrap-up post, we will plus all of them in so that everybody can follow these awesome people. Yeah. I know. So it's really cool. We have a really nice uh, Sydney photographers community here. I, I, just, I moved here to Sydney in, in September, but before that I've been on Google Plus kind of stalking all the Sydney photographers <laughs> and then as soon as I got here I joined all the photo walks and everyone was so nice and so friendly and we go shooting out together all the time. As you guys said, even if it's not an official photo walk, you just text, oh, I'm going out tonight, you know, to be vid or to this, to that, I want to join. Yeah, and, it, and you get a lot of photographers just saying, what are you doing? Yeah, I go, yeah. and it's 9 o'clock at night, and you just go, yeah. Yeah, and I think drinking click suits Sydney as well, because Australian people really like going to the pub. <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So it, it, it's, it's very nice, it's just amazing. It's like this week is... Uh, is a no. We don't have a drinking click event here in Austin, but it's still, I'm gonna go out shooting with Joel on Friday. Um, so it's just different things that happen every week on so the weeks they're you're off. So oh, I did get invited to that. Oh, <laughs> it's, act, it's, it's That's actually okay, I didn't want to go. It's actually a Friday photo shoot, so I figure you you couldn't go out on Friday because John is yeah. gonna be out. So. Yeah, he'll be gone. He's leaving tomorrow. He'll be gone. Uh, we're 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 <laughs> shooting the, the shoot the photo shoot is a horse, a beach, and oh, you uh, just didn't want to bring me to horse beach. 
a noise, a horse, a bee, and, and some ladies. So that's that's all I can say. Oh, okay. I know. All right, I think we should move on. Moving on. Or you should share his person now. Okay. Well, uh, drinking click Vancouver. Um, has a we have a small contingent of, of wonderful people and uh, one of the one of the games we play uh, every evening that other drinking clicks might want to start doing it, it kind of helps break the ice but we have a contest called lowest comment of the night and so throughout the evening throughout the evening every now and then someone will if they think of something you know just kind of put it out there and and within the framework of lowest comment of the night uh, it is good for some chuckles and I think we, actually, that we do that inherently we just don't okay have it. <laughs> no, we I identify it and we actually created our drink and click Vancouver Twitter account and a number of us have uh, access to it and so because we always forget by the next day <laughs> so, so, when we, so when we hear it we actually tweet it out so if you follow drink and click Vancouver okay, on the, uh, yeah, on the event on. evenings um, it could be an, another enjoyable way to interact with us and so <laughs> Speaking of which, one of the people who's really, really good at uh, our lowest comment of the night is the fellow who I will share now, who is my good friend, Ryan McLean. Oh, so, oh I like so Ryan. We will go to yeah, uh, like Ryan. the computer is not the fastest right now because there's so much open, but Ryan uh, does a lot of uh, fashion photography, and one of the things I, I really appreciate appreciate about Ryan's work, so you see examples there, he does a lot of work with uh, different models in Vancouver, is that when he goes to events, uh, he does a lot of practice work before, like he'll, he'll read up on it, which is something I don't so much. So uh, when we went and the theme was architecture, he came and, and I just asked him, I'm like, so architecture, give me some pointers. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I was, you know, look up and, and shoot pictures up and change angles and you know, he kind of just gives a lot of guidance. Are you seeing these pictures okay? They're, yeah, yeah. And they're beautiful. Yeah, okay. yeah they're nice. Amazing lighting, so, beautiful processing. Yeah, he, so he does a lot of work into, into that. And then uh, this was some of the shots he took on uh, the architecture walk we did. So yeah, that's, well, that was me with my toque. When we found ourselves in a random staircase because we got chased by security off a rooftop. <laughs> and there's Kate. Good uh, time. And... Absolutely, and so I'm I'm picking up Kate there. I think I was moving her <laughs> off of the the bull statue. Um, if you could pick up Kate, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I, at least once every photo walk, I end up <laughs> carrying her somewhere. Um, so so yeah, we we don't have a huge number of people every time, but. Uh, Definitely a, a great, a great time. And yeah, so these are these are Ryan's, and he does just beautiful work in post. Uh, he really does. Yeah, I, I'm always just amazed at the pictures he takes. Kate likes to get in as many pictures as she can. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in a couple too. <laughs> I was going to say I've seen your mug just as many times. <laughs> well, um, one of the things this was oh, this is awesome. So we ended up going into this cathedral and. Tyson Jerry was with us, and Tyson is um, more bold than others, so he'll often go up and just ask to do stuff, and he distracted the security guard, and so he asked if we could go into this church in this cathedral, so we went in, and they were like, okay, but mass starts, so if you're quiet and, you know, be out before too long, and so I went in, and it was too quiet, I, and my cameras makes loud noises, and I don't want to be obnoxious or obtrusive, whereas Tyson doesn't care. He wants to go and get a good picture, <laughs> so, so they go in, and I forget if it was Tyson or Ryan, but they were setting up in the back, and one of them knocked over their tripod, and it's like Aww. so echoey, right? So it goes bam, crashing down, and everyone turns around and looks, and a couple people sidestepped, and and I think like not to worry, we're just here from Drink and Click. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Come on out, Drink and Cameras, and uh, <laughs> and I think uh, a couple people stayed behind despite all the glares, and and Ryan was oh, like, oh, nice. these wow. incredible, incredible. Oh, so cool. oh yeah, I really like that one. I don't know what Tyson's doing there. Uh, but that's well, okay. not, uh, <laughs> not yeah. that reminds Anyways. me of the that uh, Jordana and I wrote on the beach. No, I, I, I really love the Vancouver chapter. It's just always so many fun pictures coming out of it, and it's always something unique coming from all the members that come over there. I know that you guys have, have a medium-sized group, and but it's always uh, a challenge to keep up what, what you guys are doing every night, so it's, it's pretty nice. I'm just going to unscreen share here. I'm going to try to unscreen share. 
There we go. Yeah, so, I mean, I have so much fun with these people, and like we were talking earlier about meeting people and then uh, having them become your really good friends, I've been to, I think, seven, or six or seven of our drinking clicks. December was my first one. And to think about how many adventures I have with these different friends, uh, it's, it's amazing. And I show up and just, yeah, I want to go on trips with them, and we go on random adventures all the time. Awesome. Awesome. That's just the, 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 the idea of the whole thing, so... Wonderful. <laughs> what just happened? It's okay. It's gonna be okay. I think I lost sound. I think I lost your sound for a second, Jordan. That'll that'll happen. He was probably typing. Yeah, I hate that. <laughs> it's all that cross chatter. Um, but yeah, so Vancouver, it's a lot of fun. Uh, Come on out and join us, and we'll show you a very good time. And we'll try not to bite too much. Awesome. <laughs> Don't die for that. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, no, I want, I would like to have a bruise to remember my time. <laughs> like an awesome thigh bruise that she photographed yeah. and shared with everyone. Yeah, that was it. I mean, the, it, yeah, there's so many memories from, from, our, from our trips, like, yeah, they're the, they're honestly the highlights of my month, um, and I have pretty exciting months. Like, it's not to say that you know my <laughs> months are really boring. I have awesome months, uh, but every time I'm looking forward to to meeting the new people and and seeing reconnecting with the the old people. Um, yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's good times. Hey Holger, are you ready to share your person? Of course. Um. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's really hard to to pick one of the guys. We have so many awesome photographers. We have I don't know if you know Takahiro Yamamoto. He's like I don't know he's like millions of followers on Google Plus. He's he is like, awesome. He is really awesome. But um, yeah, I thought I, I'm gonna share somebody who probably deserves more uh, than <laughs> he's getting, <laughs> which is uh, Giovanni. <laughs> I like oh, Giovanni. Him. Um, I like too. Maybe, you know, I think Lotus, maybe you had one or the yeah. other conversation with him. <laughs> I've talked to him several times. He's great. I like uh, he's from Italy, yeah. but, but he's living here in, in Japan, too. And, um, well, he's just there basically every time. And you just, he brings his cup camera everywhere, and you just feel the passion that he that he really has. And, wait, let me just... <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> he's, muting, he's muting our chat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope it worked. Um, yeah, I did. It did. Yeah, so uh, just let me, let me show you some of the, the photos. Um, he's traveling all over the place with his bicycle, and he just does a really good job at, I think, taking uh, photos of Japan in a way that um, maybe Japanese people wouldn't take because they think it's too normal, but I think for non-Japanese people, it's really great. So like many of those really great street festivals and you know all those those kind of typical things that you would think are normal but he has like this really good um, good way of this really good eye of seeing these things and um, taking good photos of these so uh, let me see some other ones not just in the city but like also those really nice uh, landscapes you know you oh, see like nice. Mount Fuji Mount Fuji in the background Look at the layers you know, it's like the, mm -hmm. the highest the highest mountain in in Japan like it's more or less it's like a holy mountain yeah awesome layers in this one you see like the the smaller mountains in the at the horizon and um, let me show you some other ones that is very nice and I love how we see see so many pictures from areas and we we visualize what that would kind of look like and and so often people don't like to go shooting in their own backyard, <laughs> but yeah. but it all looks so unique to us because it's that's other people's cool. backyards. <laughs> Here, maybe. <laughs> By the way, it's just because we talked about it before. That's Takahiro Yamamoto and Trey Radcliffe, like at the Google, Google no. event. <laughs> and a photo bomb. A photo bomb, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Here, that's Tokyo. Really nice one hey. of Tokyo. I think you can really. Oh, that's beautiful. Can. You can really see how it's endless, right? Endless buildings. Yeah. Like this observation platform. It's actually, it's the, the government offices are, are in there in those huge buildings. It's crazy. 
or it was uh was Trey Redcliffe wearing hot pants? <laughs> That's crazy loud like feedback. A, uh, yeah, I don't know. Someone. I might be. Uh, I, I fixed it. Oh, it was it was Anna. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what what I think uh, another thing, um, Giovanni. First of all, maybe load it. I don't know if you ever submitted it, but like really good self portraits, right? As you never see, it. like this is really awesome. Oh, really that's love this portrait of him. Like one of my my favorite shots. I don't know if you ever shared it. To you. you should share. I don't, it. I don't recall group, seeing right? that. That is a wonderful self. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, I absolutely love this one. And also, what I love is like he has this dog. It's really adorable dog. And he just takes awesome photos of that dog, like this one. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just, you know, I don't know if he's jumping or something, but like with his tongue out, and it's just. And this great, amazing. like, shadow and light play. Here. Yeah, yeah, really totally. Cool. So he, I don't know how, well, I, yeah, I don't know how he's doing it, but like those photos are really awesome. So, yeah, I think it's, he deserves more, more attention than he's getting, so. Yeah. I, I like photos. And he's like just, mm, mm, sorry, go ahead. No, I like Giovanni. I like his pictures a lot. I always see he's always on Dragon Click Tokyo. Yeah, yeah. Are, you, are you guys, are you both in, in Tokyo or on the outside of Tokyo or? No, we're both in Tokyo. Oh, in nice. Tokyo. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, he's always there. He always joins. Always a lot of fun to hang out with him and his, yeah. Really nice to experiment taking photos with him. So yeah. Here's a great photo of you right That's there. The that was a, <laughs> 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 it was a drink, drink and click. Actually, I think it was like the the second October. drink and click or something yeah. we did. Yeah. I think Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. The Halloween. Halloween. Yeah. That's it. Halloween. That's why I'm wearing like weird <laughs> teeth or something. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it was or, like, or like 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 that one. Yeah. It's things. Right. <laughs> 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 That one, that one's even better. Yeah. If Halloween equals every Tuesday night, that's. <laughs> <laughs> what I sleep in these. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that was that's so, a great yeah. that's a great share. Yeah. Holger. Hey, Holger, I want I want you to see if you can find the picture you took of this uh, shaman-looking guy on top of uh, Mount Fuji. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was your it was your own picture. It was your own picture, and I think that's one of my favorite pictures of you. Okay, so you have that. You I have that as an that. assignment for right now. We're gonna let Joel share his person right. while you're finding that photo, and we'll come back to you. Oh, okay. Sure. Awesome. Joel. All right. What do, got, what do you got for us from Austin? Yeah. So, of course, as you both know, Austin, we can. It's not uncommon to get like thirty to forty different people uh, coming to a drink and click. So you can imagine it's hard to just pick one to highlight. But I, I thought about it, and one of the first people that I remember attending drink and clicks with was Nikolai McCrary, which I'm sure oh. a lot of you have probably seen his photos. But uh, the range that, that he can cover um, just kind of blows me away. And he's always changing. In fact, when I first... Uh, saw his work. There was one particular look that I loved and I always give him a hard time because he has strayed from it. But uh, <laughs> yeah. everything he comes up with is great. So uh, yeah, just some of his stuff here. Yeah, Nicola is wonderful. I mean, he just does some amazing work and he, he was one of the the first people that showed up for Drink and Click Austin also. Yeah. And he always just, he has a good eye for what he shoots and a uh, really great uh, post processing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. The light there. Warm mm -hmm. And uh, I am still, it kills me to see these shots. <laughs> I had the opportunity to, uh, to join them on this shoot, uh, but wasn't able to make it. But this is uh, downtown Austin at 6th Street, if y'all have ever been there. Uh, it looks small here, especially compared to that photo of Tokyo we just saw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a little quaint Austin. <laughs> Isn't that yeah, cute? Nikolai's great. All those low roofs. And this was actually at the home, I think, of another... Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Uh, yeah, that was an accident on one of the drinking clicks. We don't want to talk about it. It's okay. Play with fire. What are you talking about? It's on fire. a regular thing. We always 
set people on fire. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, that, was actually, that, that was actually a friend's barbecue, right? And then he yeah. has a friend that does the stuntman thing. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mr. Shaggy, yeah. And he does the, he has a friend that does all the stunt thing, and then he asked him to do that on his like, barbecue, so. Yeah, and in fact, we all went to New York uh, when the, Initial New York Drink and Click started, and uh, Nikolai, myself, Barry, and Juan were able to go. And I think we all happened to get a shot of this guy at different yeah. times. So we all came back, and I think we all actually posted this same exact shot. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, you know, how can you not shoot this guy? That's great. Man. That did you did you have any like uncomfortable situations occur? while you were in that park shooting because I did. <laughs> no, we actually, I mean, people looked at us. I was able to get... They don't like middle. for you to take photos of them, what they're doing. Yeah, see, I was a bit nervous, and I had that fisheye that I absolutely adore, <laughs> and uh, they wanted me to get right in the middle of this game of checkers or chess, whatever they're playing. Did you... Uh, put the lens right up in there, and there was this huge group of people surrounding the table, and of course, I go ahead and do it. Nobody looked at me. Uh, wow! Yeah, I was. That's... My heart was beating. I thought I was going to get jumped by about thirty uh, folks there in the park. You. Uh, that's pretty. I'm surprised that nobody said anything to you. Um, I. I had a couple of people tell me no, like, and I wasn't anywhere near them, and they were like, mm, started yelling at me and stuff. Um, and I heard stories from other people having been there before too that not nice things that happened to them when they came in there with the camera. So it's, I mean, I did get a lot of good shots in there. You can be discreet and whatever, but I did have a couple of people just, like, point at me from across the way and be like, you stop <laughs> taking photos now. Yeah, maybe we just looked intimidating, you know, the four of us. You can't really, uh, uh -huh. not one if we stray from the pack, but we stuck close together. No, that trip to New York was, uh, was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, we met there with uh, Seth and... Uh, a few of the people from Jenkins Creek, New York, and it was a really good time. They shows around Old Town, so and Joel was from there, so yeah, Joel you was know pretty... what? I, I know you all were talking about the uh, Google Plus uh, photo walk at the end of this month. I'm actually coming back to New York in two weeks, but I'm coming back. I think that Thursday, just before the photo walk. So if anybody's in town early, <laughs> uh, we can meet up and. Have a little mini photo walk, but yeah, I'm gonna miss that that photo walk. I'm kind of bummed. Man, you're tempting me. It's like I like this I, green photo that you're showing right now. This is really yeah, I've actually never seen this one before. I'm gonna have to post nice. oh, The towns are really, that. really, really nice. Yeah, and Nicolai, the, the, the texture really of the green. water. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Holger, did you find the photo that was requested of you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see it. Sure. There oh, wow. Look so, at that. So, yeah, basically that's on top of Mount Fuji, oh. what I was showing you before, like the highest mountain. And actually, uh, that was taken when we went to uh, Mount Fuji with the Google Plus team, actually, to make uh, the Japanese commercial like the YouTube video to promote Google Plus we shot a video and uh, we went on top of Mount Fuji so we took it there so he was just going going wild up there that is, that is amazing I love that picture yeah. actually mm -hmm. there's another there's another really uh, cool one of him um, where is it oh yeah that one <laughs> <laughs> where is it it's like yeah it's on top of a mountain too and he's like giving his blessings or something it's, it's really great yeah. That was great. That's an amazing shot. That was nice. mm -hmm. Yeah. Man, I need to go to Tokyo. As soon as possible. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah, totally. You, you all should come here. That's your global drink and click in Tokyo. I know. You should make like a, a yearly, uh, annual meeting like in one of two places where everybody meets together. I, I actually I work I work for Samsung, so I'm hoping uh, they maybe send me send me next year to Korea so I can 
escape to Tokyo oh, during the cool. weekend. That's so. close. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, let's do that. Thank you for sharing that picture, man. Yeah. That's a, that's an awesome picture. So uh, we we always have a favorite area in each city where you like to shoot, and Austin, Texas has so many different places you can go drink. It's north and south, central, downtown, but they always have my favorite areas, which is East Sixth Street, uh, Rainy Street, and uh, West Sixth Street. Which is the part of the bars that we went to. We went to Fado's last time. We was in an Irish bar, and it's pretty cool because they show soccer mainly. But the last time the NBA was playing, so we Joel asked him to put the NBA game on, yeah. and they did. So we were watching the Spurs and the Miami Heat uh, playing there. But it was really nice. They just have a really nice patio, and they have a really nice uh, service on it. Any yeah, I like the atmosphere. They're just like, just like you said, just ask them to, you know, put the game on, and they're really friendly. They yeah. let us run amok in there with our cameras. Juan, do you have photos from that place that you can show? Because that place is amazing inside. It is. I think, uh, I don't know if uh, Lotus has any... Uh, um, I'll, screen some, I'll, screen, I'll get some ready while we're doing some of these other suggestions so we can come back. We didn't have a... Uh, that plans, but I'll find it. I'll pull some up and we'll look so, at it. So, Anna, what are you doing in Sydney? Where do you go have a well, good... Well, it seems like we always end up either near the Opera House or at a beach. Oh. So, out of the several, the three drinking clicks events I've run, two of them have been around the Opera House on the bridge, and we ended up going to bars in, in the rocks. So but when I run these events, usually concentrate on somewhere to go shoot and then just find somewhere to have a drink along the way, which is sometimes challenging because yeah. it's usually very busy. And if we're like 14 people or something, it's hard to find a spot. Mm -hmm. But we've managed. There is pubs on the rocks, like near the opera house and stuff, that are really nice. And you just go in there and have a drink. Sometimes they have live music as well. And so, so this is close to the opera house? Or yeah. the bridge, or well, both of them are really close together. Okay, I've just never been there, so I'm like, okay, oh, yeah. I see well, pictures. So yeah, if you're at the rocks, you can see you can see both the opera house and the bridge. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. How about uh, how about in Tokyo? What do you what do you do in Tokyo? Is it a special part of town that you like to go to? Oh man, Tokyo is so huge. So there's a million places you can go to. The, the biggest problem we always have is actually um, there's millions of places, but they're all too small for our huge group, right? <laughs> so you, you really got to prepare a bit to, to get some seats or something. Yeah. I think like around um, Tokyo Station, it's a really great area. You have those huge um, rail, this huge railway like for, I don't know, like I think it's like five or six rails next to each other. And under, under those rails, you have like all those small pubs kind of places, pub, Japanese, um, sake bars, and nice. things like that. And it's a, it's a really great area. You can just walk around, go in there, grab a drink. Not everyone fits in, so you <laughs> you kind of kind of got have to split up, and meet outside, and go to another place. But it's it's a great oh, area. I love also, that. I don't know. Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you go. Go go. Oh yeah. Also, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's like. Um, for our, I think in, in May or in April, for our event, we uh, we went to this river, which is like lined by those cherry trees. And you know, in Japan, like uh, during cherry blossom time, everyone is going crazy and takes photos of all those cherry blossoms. But it's this really beautiful area. It's called Nakamegoro, and it's just this really long river, and it is. I don't know, for two kilometers or something, it's lined by those cherry trees left and right, and then on the street, people just drink, and um, it's a great area to go to, to shoot photos, and to so, just have fun. So are you able to drink on the street in Tokyo, or? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. nice. <laughs> Even during those, I mean, during those, uh, the cherry blossom time, man, then in the parks, there's usually cherry trees in the parks, everyone is just like, Getting drunk on the nice, nice. Getting risky. <laughs> must it's, must it's, go to Tokyo. Totally, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Sarah, how about Toronto? What? For Toronto, we uh, 
As far as like places to go for drinking and socializing, we've kind of done the chains around the area. So um, there's a Firkin chain, uh, which is all around from Northern Ontario. That's probably awesome. more places in Canada. Um, Firkin, Firkin and like Jack Astor's are two places we go to a lot because they're kind of central, right downtown Toronto. Um, but as far as locations, one place I'd love to visit as often as I can, and we're actually starting our next photo walk there is. Um, the Brookfield place, which is in the financial district. And so this is the inside of it. Oh, beautiful. It's just like, it's, it's probably my favorite interior in the city. And there's just different ways to shoot it every time oh. you go. Amazing. And uh, starting this weekend is Luminato, which is kind of a festival that's run once a year in Toronto for um, kind of the creatives in Canada. Showcase kind of uh, stage performances and... Uh, Art exhibits, and this was actually an exhibit from Luminato a couple of years back. And Sarah, so we're going to start. That's a great picture. Oh, thanks. I love it. And this one actually was. Um, let me see. There's like an. We have kind of. We have the second largest underground kind of walkway path system in the world after I believe it's. I think it's Tokyo. I can't remember. Oh yeah, um, this is your system. But this leads this leads down to the Toronto path, and this is inside Brookfield Place as well. Um, and this is a shot I took for the the black and white theme, which I went yeah. for. Yeah. Ooh. This, is, nice. this is in the same building. <laughs> nice. Very nice. And so whenever I go there, I find different ways to kind of shoot the same the same hallway over and over. But I, yeah. I love going in there. That is awesome. Thomas Hawk who had a blast on the on the on that building. <laughs> he he shot in there. Yeah. Either Thomas or Trey will go nuts in there. So how about Vancouver? Which one is the favorite spot to do in Vancouver? Well, uh, Vancouver's, uh, it's a little challenging. Like, you can go shoot anywhere where there's a lot of tourists, a lot of people come here with cameras, and we're fairly polite, so we don't want to any you know get in people's way or, or you know hey, go take pictures we're in public it's okay um, so oftentimes we go and shoot depending on what the what the theme is it's so diverse so if we want to go shoot you know we got nature we've got the business district we got all those things in different areas and being that um, Canadians really like hockey uh, and hockey really is kind of also an excuse for drinking there are pubs <laughs> and and all over the place so. Uh, it's really not hard to find a place to drink. Um, this last time, we ended up doing a walk near a bridge, so we'll see some photos from that later. And we went to this pub called the Pirate Pub, and we went there because we thought it sounded cool and had pirates in the name. And God. it was straight down by the ocean and allowed us to drink sangria on the deck and uh, watch the boats go by. And I, I really pointed out to the, to the attendants that... For us, it was a very normal scene. We're like, yeah, we're just sitting here. And I said, okay, so most of the world thinks this is, you know, utterly amazing. And we're like, eh, you know, it's kind of, this is a, one of those boring views. Like, we should go find something else. <laughs> so uh, it's interesting, again, how that perspective goes, which is something I touched on before, but it's something I always think of as I go around to places, realizing how unique each of those locations are. So, so in Canada, which one would you pick as your best city just to go around and take pictures? Oh, it's like your child. You might have a favorite, but you're not allowed to say on air. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, uh, like, honestly, from, from traveling to so many different places and meeting so many wonderful people, um, people make places special. Everywhere you go, you can find stuff to shoot. And, yeah. and, and places really, there, there's, a, there's a lot of commonalities, but unique differences to every place. And, uh, I mean, I could mention every city, and, and there's just wonderful stuff. But Toronto? I will I will mention Toronto. Um, my trip across the country. My my favorite event was the Toronto photo walk with Ron Clifford and uh, and the other Toronto photographers. That was the highlight of my trip. Absolutely. Cool. That's be awesome. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to go north or something. So uh, we we are actually planning to go in the fall. We're planning to go to Vancouver, uh, and then we are planning to do a trip, a road trip. From Vancouver down to Austin, so we'll see how that goes, and it's probably over 2,600 miles. Uh, so we are uh, in the area. That's early a lot of beers, man. Yeah, and and if you include a Canadian, then you yeah. have an international contingent. Exactly. So 
So we're trying to plan the whole trip, and we're in the early stages of it. So we're going to have a lot of hangouts on the way. So we announce, <laughs> we announce more when we have uh, everything uh, staged and planned out. So. Oh, um, I have some pictures of that you took of Fado to show really quick. Cool. Um, Juan? No. Oh. Since we were talking about Fado Irish Pub. And they have an excellent shepherd's pie, by the way. Delicious. There's some photos that Juan took I in that. Uh, nice. We were there the other day. Hold on, let me. Okay. Get over there and move. Just a few shots from. There's an outside shot. There's there's what Juan had for dinner. Delicious chicken, grilled chicken sandwich with bacon. Delicious. <laughs> I tried to make everyone else eat it. Here's the patio. <laughs> um, some Google sock action on the patio. <laughs> so you can see there's like a very large outdoor area here, and it's really nice. They have these big fans. They blow around out there. So you can eat ice cream. Oh, they blow. <laughs> uh, have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Good time. The inside is really nice looking. And then also, um, if we were going to start the, start the discussion on leading lines, here is a great photo from inside Fado that can kind of kick off our discussion about leading lines. I thought maybe. Vancouver has a response to that one. Not as good as yours, oh. but, but it's along the theme. Bring it, Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> that, just, just, that's a teaser. <laughs> I like that picture. You took it. You are a great. Well, 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 you, you, the pose, the pose was all you. You know. This, this yeah, is, that was my idea to just like do that. This is this is Lotus, <laughs> Lotus Carol right there. It's like I got awesome. the I got the lights set up. I got the camera ready. What did you want me to do? I said, well, you got the tables there, and then she just went with it. That's a collaboration. Yeah. You know? yeah. Dragging this 60 inch octa around a bar, <laughs> and knock over beers or hit people in the head. <laughs> I was a little afraid of posting that picture, but I got permission, so I posted it. It's very important to always get consent when you post photos or do anything, yes. really. I mean, that's the moral of this story. Yeah. No, it is. Uh... It is pretty nice. Uh, we got a we got a good uh, good turnout for the leading lines and. What we're trying to do this time is just meeting at the meeting at the bar, the meeting spot, and then we go on a walk around probably four blocks, and then we either go back to the same bar or we go pick another bar, depending if uh, if it coincides with the theme of the month. So I don't know if you guys do it the same way or you guys from go to, from bar to bar, but we're trying to do a walk and then come back. So. <clears throat> well, so, go ahead, Anna. Um, I was gonna say that in Sydney, what uh, I've, used, I've done this past three times is we meet up first to take photos somewhere, you know, like photos of the bridge or the opera house or what was, or some fireworks that were one time, and then after that we go find a bar instead of going to a bar first. But from my experience in the last drinking clique. Uh, not everyone was there on time, and then even if they were, there were so many people, it's hard to find people. So for the next one, I'm going to try to go to a bar first and then take photos. But what we usually do is we don't usually go to just one bar because it's hard enough finding a spot for all of us in one bar. Once we finally wrestle for our table, if we get up and go elsewhere, we don't have a table anymore. <laughs> Do you want to go ahead and share your um, event photos from your last event? Since we have you yeah. right now, are you ready? Or am I putting you uh, <laughs> again like, damn it, Lotus, give me some warning. Do you want to tell us what the leading lines, like what, what are leading lines for people that aren't watching, or that, that are watching that might not know? Yeah, that was our last month's theme, right? Mm -hmm. Since we have a theme every month that we kind of concentrate on while we're having this great time socializing. We're also trying to learn a little bit, so we're focusing on like different themes in photography. And so our last month's theme was leading lines. And I actually had a fun conversation about leading lines today with Juan and Joel. Um, but the main idea, I guess, with leading lines is that you're looking to find lines in the environment, in what you're shooting, that will lead the eye somewhere. 
And, <laughs> and the, the, the kind of discussion that we were having was um, exactly where are they supposed to lead. So um, I think the ge general idea of leading lines is they can lead anywhere, including like leading your eye literally out of the photo. And, right. and, and my my little hang up is that I feel like you're using the idea of leading lines in your composition in the very strongest way possible if you're actually using the lines to lead towards a strong or interesting subject, right? The place where you actually want somebody to look and then ba boom, there's like this subject there that's interesting. But it doesn't have to be. That was... <laughs> That was the consensus, yeah. It, it's can, like, it, it can lead your eye into nowhere. If it must, it's still a leading line. <laughs> well, I can lead it to somewhere, but it doesn't have to be. It could be, like you say, a vanishing po point, but it doesn't have to be a, just an interesting subject. You just have to lead your eye to Yeah, it's still a leading line. Like yeah. A type of leading line, kind of. <laughs> yeah. We'll just go with that. And you can, do, you can just Google leading lines and then see the example. <laughs> yeah, and you'll find a whole bunch of, like, but but then, you know, lines or no lines in your photo, eventually they have to, I think the idea is that, because it's called leading lines, the idea is that you are drawn to look along the end of that line, whether yeah. it's going towards, you know, something specific or not, you're kind of compelled <laughs> to follow it to the end, right? Whether it's a vanishing point and there's nothing there, or there is something there, it's, it's something you're drawn to look along, right? So we look for these these lines and we try to compose our shot so that that this adds interestingness to our photo, right? Yep. It is, uh, yeah, it, it, you can debate with so many different photographers and I think they have, <laughs> a, they have a different opinion of what leading lines will be. Because it could be vanishing point, because the leading lines just go to the vanishing point, or it could be, like you say, a subject, and, you know, like the, where you're sitting right now with the thing you have behind you leading lines, so that would be a picture right there. Right, these are leading lines, and they yeah, all exactly. break my head. So, so, I don't know. Oh. In the dojo here. I know. So, so. Anna's got up some photos from their last event, and there are definitely some, some leading lines going on in there. So, it was, I think, a really good combination of going to Drinking Click, uh, drinking click at the Vivid Festival on leading lines because with all these lights around and light tunnels and everything, I felt there were a lot of opportunities. Like for example, this tunnel that we see a lot of different angles from, of, it was just a tunnel full of lights where people were just walking through and the lights would change color and, you know, bright lights, you can put it on a, on a corner like in here and get the leading lines towards one side mm -hmm. or get it more centered like got it here like perfectly towards the center. Oh, I really like that one. And yeah, so these were some of the photos we took because you can see the opera house is lit up with all these amazing projections. And if you go to a good spot, you can also take a photo where you can see the light beams. Ooh, oh, wow. Nice. That is badass. <laughs> so I didn't take that one on, on that day, but yeah. Like, it's oh, that's, that's okay. This point here. That and it's beautiful. really cool because they project the images from the other side of the harbor, so it's like really far away. So I'm amazed. They they must have like a lot of light power or something to do that. And then another place good for leading lines was this uh, seesaw thingy. So there was a screen in the back with with um, colors and the seesaws. If you moved up and down, it would change the colors of the screen. So you could get it from that angle, or also another angle we went to get it from was, say, here for, from the side, for example, and then you can see how it's made up of all these rows of, of, not, of um, lights. Nice. Well. Very trippy. I know. I was about to say the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it's static now. When you saw it, there it was all moving. It was quite hypnotizing. Wow. So yeah, there was all that around, and the opera house, which... No matter how many photos I see of it, I still love it. And whenever a new photo comes up, I still like it. And Beautiful. yeah, lots of cool stuff. This is actually the top of the of the projector. So these are the light beams that goes onto the opera house. Nice. So it's pretty intense. And this is when we're at the at the pub. <laughs> 
Now those aren't the good pictures. <laughs> I decided to wear red so everybody could find me. <laughs> <laughs> so many people. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, more stuff, more of the light tunnel again. Interesting people around. Yeah, that's pretty much the last event. Cool, wonderful. Cool. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to go to Sydney. It's just so far away. I took yeah. a trip to. It's so I took, cool. a, it's so took a trip. I know. I took a trip to South Korea, and it was 14, 14 and a half hours on the plane. And that yeah, was it's even yeah. worse if you're coming from Europe. Like every time I come here, the whole journey, like since I leave my house till I get here, is about thirty hours or thirty-two hours. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so what part of Spain? Are, what part of Spain are you from? I'm from a city city called Zaragoza. Zaragoza. It's in northeast. Nice. It has a soccer team. That's the only reason people sometimes know it. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah, I've been to Spain, Barcelona, and Madrid. So. Well, I'm halfway, exactly halfway between them. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah. E excellent food, delicious wine. Yep. Okay, <laughs> who else is ready to share their event page? I am. <laughs> Go. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. <laughs> Yeah. I'm making sound effects as I'm pushing buttons over here. All right. So, oh, this is an example of Ryan going and taking a picture and then me seeing him take a picture, so then I took his picture. So he took a picture <laughs> of this building, and I was like, hey, that's a good idea. So then I took a picture of this building. Um, we ended up walking towards this bridge, the Burrard Street Bridge, to find leading lines. Uh, our leader this uh, trip was Marianne Workinen. You can see Ryan taking a picture of her in this picture that I'm taking of Ryan. <laughs> we we didn't have a huge turnout, so this was oh. Uh, and Lotus, your leading line shot was way better than this one, <laughs> but you know I my yeah, shot. We, I was just in it. <laughs> we had, so, anyways, moving along. Um, good stuff. I, uh, good stuff. No, that was great. Go back to that. Okay, there you yeah. go. Good. Let's Maybe. just start a whole new definition of what this <laughs> is really all about. Sexy. Does crowd. every chapter have a person or, or a couple people that will do things like this? Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I think. Um, and, and so then we shared pictures like this, and, and people are like, did you have a helicopter? It's like, no, we live in a town with large bridges over water. Nice. <laughs> so oh, welcome cool. to Vancouver. So that's a dog and a person? Yes, it is. It's a, it's a dog and a person. Wow. You, sir, are correct. That's pretty cool. And, yeah, Marianne uh, really enjoyed the Aquabus. It, this takes people from one side of the channel to the other. And, and this was just uh, after our walk was just before Auto Awesome I came love out. That. So, yeah, so we were like really excited and decided to try to shoot a lot of things pertaining to Auto Awesome. So, heck, it was really cool and nifty. So, we didn't worry about if it was like entertaining or anything. We just, <laughs> we were like, let's try it. I, how many? I will only use five images. No matter how many I put in there, it'll only use five of them. Um, you have to see what order they're in and make sure they're, they, it can read that it's in the right order. Uh, sometimes it would upload uh, awkwardly for me. Here's a leading line shot that I thought you would like. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a good one. Me see, like. Mar Marianne took the shot of me, so I took a shot of her. And, <laughs> and Ryan, I didn't oh, wait, want to... Lines are leading up, and then on her skirt, they're, like, leading away. Go I know. Away. <laughs> yeah, it's like... <laughs> like and that's a, absolutely. Well, no, this was one of those things where I, I... It's not just a shot of the, you know, Marianne walking. Like, I actually like the compositional elements of it. Um, yeah, and I will defend that, absolutely. Yeah, but I like, the, I like the vertical lines going up, and I do like how those horizontal lines kind of stop the, the eye from going higher. Yeah. They do. Well, it doesn't yeah. really, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the, um, and the, the central, like the, the rule of thirds, like just having the subject dead center like that. Uh, no, I, I enjoyed it. And, well, and I, I didn't want Ryan, Ryan to feel left out. So. I, have, I have a weakness uh, with boots. Uh, there's a winner in my book. 
Okay, so we so we should all get boot, wear boots next time for you then. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, and so yeah, the auto awesome. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't yeah. see that one. Yeah, well, uh, this one we put up a little yeah. while ago, but yeah, you can you can find it in there. Um, <laughs> we are a very chaste and respectful bunch. Absolutely. No, I like I love seeing that you guys are having a great time. I like that. Well, and and one oh, of the Oh, that's beautiful. I love this photo. Why thank you. I took this one. Right. Look, uh, and the leading line that takes you right towards the beautiful woman in the photo. <laughs> well, there was only there was there was her and Ryan and I, so uh, we had uh, limited options for choices of shape. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful woman always makes a better subject than uh, an early dude. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. Just get the the giant burly beard. Um, <laughs> this was all shot from That's the great. little patio we were at, uh, having sangria, oh, and. Good one. And it was very awesome there being just the uh, the three of us, and have us having walked together many times meant that we could, uh, like, we were just really more casual uh, and and free to go wherever we wanted. And this is how I, if anyone was wondering, this is how I scratched up my knees at a drinking click, just so that stops any kind of questions that might be out there. Yeah, the tuck and roll. Unfortunately, he didn't get like the full tuck and roll, but. This would be the example of, and the guy in the suit is not sure what's happening, but that's cool. He's kind of scared, it looks like, right at the end there. He's like, whoa, what's up with this? What if he keeps rolling like a giant rock? From he's the like, there was a picture of a guy walking on the street, but I didn't. I was not made aware that there would be rolling. That's true, yeah. I'm on the left lane, the former bike lane. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so auto awesome's a lot of fun. And, Clearly. Uh, that yeah. <laughs> yes, I am the great white ninja. <laughs> so, so I this but this is one of those cases where I said, "Oh, Marianne, I've got an idea. Take pictures." So Marianne's on the left taking pictures, and we didn't know that Ryan was taking pictures of us doing it. So <laughs> yeah. it's, uh, it's always good times when someone's taking pictures of you doing it. Absolutely. We need to get some auto awesome going on here in Austin. Yeah, man. Yeah, you guys need to raise the auto awesome uh, bar. Bar. Um, I, what about Tokyo? Is there any auto awesome going on in Tokyo, Holger? Uh, not so far. Uh, I've seen, you know, yeah. I think like there might be a over. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we got some leading lines. Let's see what you got, man. Yeah, sure. So uh, that's the event page, right? I mean, we we didn't take too many shots last time. I think not as usual. Our usual standard, our usual gold standard. But, uh, <laughs> to be modest, <laughs> no. But I mean, we got some nice uh, shots here, like uh, this one. It's, I guess, one leading line, just Tokyo at night, just like this. Actually, it's the Imperial Palace on the left side, and around the Imperial Palace, you have this huge uh, water thingy. And um, let me see what else we got. I love yeah. the starbursts. I'm such yeah. a fan. Oh yeah, yeah. This we one, uh, I think Juan Juan shared it. Uh, I, it's like in a, in a place. Yeah. It's called the it International cool. Forum. It looks like a, a giant spaceship. It's like the mothership, and that's like the it has some weird wood pa uh, wood panels. That's and awesome. Another, another <laughs> I shot. Uh, I think it's wait. See it here. Yeah, that's like, uh, well, I don't know if it's a pretty huge building. You see all those bridges on top crossing? Look at and, all um, actually, on, on the left is this orange field on the left is like those those foot panels. Mm -hmm. And it goes like basically up and like in this sort of curve thingy. Pretty nice building. It's cool. One, you should check it out when you come to Tokyo. I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let me see what else we got. Oh, well, yeah, like, like that. Leading lines, or um, that's the one a bar. Right next to that one, the black and white, right next to that one. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I just would like to this see one? it. Ah yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually at the at the end, very small. I that's like that's that. Tokyo Station. That's nice. So yeah. That's what we got. Tough. He's like, oh, we don't have that many leading lines photos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. I, I have to say that, that our, especially our our Japanese um, members, they're very, very. I mean, having having this theme, this monthly theme, really pushes everyone. Like everyone gets really excited and really wants to get the best out of it. And it's great to see everybody embrace that. It's awesome. 
totally and don't get totally high. makes our totally makes our events every time is there. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> something's happening in something's happening in Australia, I think. Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh -oh. we lost Holger and then there was like this weird siren and then he uh -oh. went away. It's like a Godzilla attack. What the hell? Maybe okay, they maybe well. there was maybe it was well. an earthquake siren or something. Oh well, no, don't say that. Under... Oh there he's back. Now there's two Oops. of them. There he is. Hey man, we thought you had like gotten blown up or something. Or Godzilla or something. Oh, you're <laughs> muted. You have to unmute yourself. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, I thought I got blown up too, yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like that he's gone. And back. We're glad you're okay. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm alive and well. well <laughs> Excellent. Great stuff from your chapter. We're always excited to see what's coming in from there. And you have some beautiful leading lines photos from your last event. So it's, oh, we're going to be excited awesome, to yeah. see what you guys enter into the uh, challenge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially with red. Yeah, with the, with the chapter challenge this month is red. I think Tokyo is going to go insane. Every month, Tokyo goes insane. It's, yeah. There's, <laughs> there's to lose every month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no, everyone's so excited. I'm, I'm sure they, they gonna come up with something nice. I personally, I'm not so creative, but <laughs> everyone is awesome. You're the leader. You are inspiring them. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Speaking of our challenges, we have some amazing winners to announce from our leading lines challenge from last month. Now we got uh, we got the top three selected today, and uh, I think Lotus has. I will screen album. share them, and I will start at number three. Is that a good idea? Yeah, that's fine. Number three. Okay, are what you are ready? You? Ready to announce? Yeah, number three, Tokyo. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Woo! This was one of my favorite shots from the selection. I know. And uh, I think uh, you have the name on there, there, which I'm uh, gonna butcher the name, but uh, I don't think I can see. It. I don't have glasses on. Loaded. Okay, so uh, I I will butcher yeah. the name. You're gonna pass that honor on to me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> butcher away. Motonori Endo. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Motonori Endo. Endo. Yeah. You can correct me. Very American. <laughs> you say it. Motonori Endo. Thank you. Oh, and he's our third know. place winner. Awesome. And he won, uh, I think it's a $20 off uh, Trey Redcliffe Stuck in Customs uh, website. Which awesome. he, he, can, he can get presets. Um, he can get presets or tools or whatever he can use the code for. But uh, it's pretty awesome. Or can nice. he can he actually get a discount on a pair of Trey Ratcliffe hot pants with that? I don't know. I think those are exclusive. Those are VIP. Dude, that's what that is on my bucket list. I'm telling you. What I heard is that the tighter, the more expensive they are. <laughs> I want the tearaway one. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the second place winner. Second place winner is. Loaded. Mishirad Dio from New York. And I don't know New York. York. Beautiful. beautiful lines, beautiful yeah. light. Love the light, Amazing love the sky, color. reflections on the water. And, and what did he win? He won a Gary Fong uh, snout. Is that how you say it? Snoot? Yes. Snoot. There you go. Snoot. Snoot. <laughs> um, and. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's the second place uh, prize. I think Gary Fong is very nice. They always retweet everything we tweet, so it's very cool. We love their products. Yeah. Okay, and now the suspense. Oh my God! For Did he get to the first place? Kenny Shepard. No, Drinking Click, Philadelphia. Hey, they're a new chapter, a newer chapter, aren't they? A newer chapter, and they're kicking they butt. They very are new. beautiful, yeah. beautiful shot. 
I love mm -hmm. love the lines, love leading to the lady, and I don't know if they know that lady, which I don't think they do, but it was just very nice just to go through it. <laughs> so congratulations, lady, for being on the internet all over the place. Now. I know, and she's not freaking out, which is no. awesome. Yeah, it was just leading to her. So it's it's public forum. And they won at a really awesome think tank, camera by, and it's a street walker. And it's a it's a pretty awesome bag. So um, I think it's a hundred and sixty dollar bag or something like that. So I have that bag and it is awesome. It is kick ass. So we love Think Tank. They're they're pretty awesome. So and I have two or three bags from them and they are amazing. Oh, and and look who we have. Uh -huh. Who has just Whoa. joined us? Like mysteriously, all of a sudden. Oh, Kenny with, Shepherd. Win a winner, chicken dinner. Kenny, congratulations. Oh, and he's. Uh, you oh, might be muted. muted. They yeah. had this auto mute feature when you first join a hangout. So if you look up in the upper right and unmute yourself mm. with a little mic. Is that better? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Oh, you missed me squealing. Oh. <laughs> okay, you're gonna have to go out and come back in because I want to. Squeal again. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Kenny. Thank you. So That's tell us a little bit about your shot. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, there's not much to it. It's just uh, we were out. Um, it was, uh, uh, let's see, it was Shannon, Stacy, and, um, and Alan. We were out just uh, after drinking and uh, starting to get dark, and uh, we were just walking around the city, and this, this shot... Um, was uh, was just I, I saw this person walking. She looked really interesting. Um, it, it, the brick wall looked like it was some great leading line, so I just lifted uh, lifted the camera up and uh, and shot and as quickly as I could. And uh, and that's about the, all there is to it. And then she hit you with her bags, and you were like, "I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't even notice. <laughs> you, you know what I really like? I, I have to point this out while we're on air. It, is that it asks us here. If we want to tag Peter Hurley <laughs> in this photo, here. is this uh, Peter Hurley? <laughs> just tag him. Just tag him. Just for the hell of it. Are you sure? I, I, I really want to tag him right yeah. now. <laughs> yeah, just tag him. He loves him. Okay, no, no. I don't want Peter Hurley to hate me forever and ever. Uh, <laughs> he's a good hip flexion, if that counts. Exactly. Great job, Kenny. I really liked this. I really loved the. I, I feel like the subject was interesting and the lines were leading straight to her. So it was a really good capture there. So, Kenny, who's the lady? I have no idea. Some okay. mysterious uh, oh, okay. woman in Philly. You just were leaning against the wall and she just happened to walk? Yeah, we. I didn't even stop. I just. Uh, we were all walking right past her and uh, I think I was the only one who actually took a picture of her. Awesome. Uh, awesome. Yeah. Uh -huh. Love the shot. Yeah. Thank you. You'll be getting that bag. Uh, I contact them tomorrow, so you'll be getting that bag soon. That is excellent. I could use it. My my current bag is completely shot. Oh, good. You're gonna yeah. love it. Yeah. So, uh, thank you so much for all the panelists to join us tonight and um, for um, just being with us for an hour and a half and uh, seeing all the pictures we have. If you have any questions. About Drink and Click, just go to www.drinkandclick.com and you can see what we're about. And if you want to open a chapter in your city, just go there and there's a little form you can fill and request for your city to have one. We're 24 chapters uh, worldwide now. So if you feel like joining the family, just come along and just send us a message. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. All right. Have a good night. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah.